she hadn't reckoned on the silence. Not the silence most learned to accept, but a piercing, unbending and fiercely intolerant quiet. It pulled at her as it oozed and formed until she could feel it begin to wrap itself about her. Cloying, grasping, she could feel herself drowning. Her mind felt no one about her, and she knew the others felt the same. A thick distance had quickly grown between them as the years had grown colder. They all lived within striking range, but had found a curious power to hide away, each figure crawling to whichever shadow or crevice seemed warmest, waiting for the ordeal to cease. The silence hadn't won. It simply returned after they'd given in. She now, at least, knew that they were the furthest, the most daring. She had used to laugh at the thought, smiling up at the stars as they glittered with promise of welcome. Now they've disappeared. They existed. She could see them through the thick glass of the window. But they weren't her stars. There was no warmth in them. The vast silver carpet thinned into little wisps of light, relics of the night sky she had loved. Now she was beyond the reach of home. Years even from seeing it grace the distance. She had left herself with the vast, bitter nothing, consuming and devouring, not existing beyond its hunger. Once she had heard a flicker on the radio, or she thought she had. It hadn't lingered enough to form a word, but she was adamant of the noise. For days she'd crouched, whispering into the receiver, begging for another sound until her voice had crumbled into nonsense. And the void had taken her words, and the last silence had returned. It was then she'd given in like the others, curling her withered frame into a cabinet and bathing in the darkness. In the dark at least she could pretend. If she squeezed her eyes closed and fought her mind towards some kind of reason, she could just conjure flashes of sunlight, hints of colour that drifted through her fading consciousness as she rocked her body to sleep, desperate for it to come. She found her rest in thoughts of love as the silence was joined by an indifference and her floating tomb endeavoured to drift further towards an ever greater nothing. <laughs>